I just got back from a cocktail party, and as fun as those may be, the whole time all I could think about was coming home and getting my game on. I'm gonna go get ready, and as I do, I'm gonna let you in on my top 10 video games from 2014. Number 10, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. This one is for you guys, because you need a first-person shooter that has lasers and energy and a campaign mode that will blow your frickin' mind. Number 9, Titanfall. Now when this game came out, everybody thought it was a top contender for Game of the Year. I mean, a first-person shooter with mechs? You can't get any better than that, right? Ugh, oh, that's so much better! I feel like me again! Except now I'm hungry, and I require sustenance. On to the next game! Number eight. For the scare factor on my list, I have Alien Isolation, which in itself is probably the scariest game that I have played in a very long time. It has aliens, it has face huggers. I can't even, I just, I, I can't even. Number seven. Destiny! coming in as the true contender for Game of the Year, and I only say this because this is the only game thus far that has managed to combine both the MMO world and the first person world. Thought it wasn't possible before today? <laughs> you thought wrong. General rule of thumb, never game on an empty stomach. What are you looking at me like that for? Everybody eats naked, <laughs> don't judge me. Up next we have number six. Bayonetta 2, a personal favorite of mine, because who doesn't like an ultra sexy vixen witch kicking asses, angels and demons alike? It brought the sexy, it brought the action, and that's why I love it. Number five, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Now I'm gonna be honest, what sold me on this one was making heads explode with my mind. And plus it's the Lord of the Rings franchise, and who doesn't love that? But mostly the head explosions. All of the head explosions. 2014 has been a huge year in gaming. Some good, some bad. Project Titan being canceled and DDoS attacks against Riot and Blizzard affecting launch days. But they did announce the new Zelda open world for the Wii U. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Super excited about that. And the new Overwatch that was announced at BlizzCon. Ah, oh, Blizzard, you do me so good. So excited, I just, I, I can't even. Number four, Hearthstone. If you want the World of Warcraft lore, but without the World of Warcraft addiction, play some Hearthstone for a tabletop game without the tabletop. Number three. Now as the Nintendo fangirl that I am, I have to include Super Smash Brothers for the 3DS and the Wii U. My character of choice, I think it's pretty well known on the internet. Pikachu, what what, down B, all up in your face. Welp, I got a happy belly, I got some happy kitties. It's time to get to some gaming. Now, on to my number two. Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby. If you consider yourself a Pokemon fan and you do not have this in your repertoire, you are no true Pokemon fan. Mudkips for life. I heard you like Mudkips. Oh, comfort level 5,000, and I don't know about you guys, but I need to be at maximum comfort levels when I get my game on. So bring your comfy pants when we're running dungeons, because up next I have my all-time favorite game of 2014! Never World of Warcraft, Warlords of Draenor. I am in love with this expansion. I like Burning Crusade, I like Wrath of the Lich King, I loved Mist of Pandaria, but this one takes the cake. I have my garrison, I have followers. You can go on little missions, you can get invaded. Oh my god, guys. If you're not playing it, you need to play it now. <laughs> play with me, please. All right, gamers, that is my top picks for 2014. If you agree or if you disagree, hit me up on Twitter at PamelaHorton13. We can duke it out in favor of my opinion. <laughs> Once again, I am Pamela Horton, Playboy's gamer next door for Playboy.com. Game on. Shake that thing and make it celebrate.